Well, here's the uh, lightened ASBO crank, all bolted up, assembled obviously with the steel conrod and the roller big end and all bolted up tightly, even the uh, grub screws are in, uh, the little locking screws for the crank pin nuts, everything's done up tightly and uh, I'm finished with it. And if we cast our minds back, I'll obviously make a little playlist of this lot, um, we had a rise and fall of ten thousandths of an inch at the main shafts um, going between top and bottom dead centres and uh, I've worked on that and I have managed to improve it to quite a degree um, where we've now actually, where we had them, the clocks rising and falling together at um, a range of ten thousandths of an inch and actually you might just about be able to see that we've got half a thousandth of an inch on the drive side main shaft. We've got four thousandths of an inch on the timing side shaft and I've worked and I've worked and I've worked at this and I can't improve on it and I can only think it must be perhaps if it isn't wear on a timing side shaft itself which is probably unlikely it's probably the fit of it through the flywheel which um, there's not much can be done about that but we got four thou there, we got half a thou there that we can take off it because they are actually moving together. Whether you can actually see this one or not as it moves, I don't know, but um, that knocks it down to three and a half thousandths of an inch. But the nice thing about it is, is the drive site main shaft is running pretty much perfectly true, and that is the one that runs in a pair of main bearings. And I think that small discrepancy on the timing side, the three and a half thousandth of an inch we're left with there, isn't going to be a problem. And uh, the flywheels were rising and falling quite vividly before, and the gap between them was opening and closing. I managed to make a great improvement on that, even though it's not completely gone, it's a hell of a lot less. So I think overall we're up on the deal on this one. And all I've got to do now is weigh the, the assembly and compare it to what it weighed before. But I know it's going to be quite a lot lighter. You still wouldn't want to drop it on your foot. It's still quite a heavy assembly. Um, but a fair bit of weight has gone. So that'll help an engine spin up and accelerate faster and get up to its uh, maximum torque and maximum horsepower uh, speeds more quickly. Which is what gives you more acceleration. And also when you throttle off there's less inertia forcing you to carry on so even your brakes feel better. I really cannot think of any way where you lose by doing this but uh, some people like a big heavy flywheel I say um, each to their own but this one's ready to go into what I suppose might even be termed as ASBO 51 engine although I don't have the engine here but uh, this is the heart of a lot of them, um, so uh, could well be ASBO 51. It's a, it was uh, end of last year going into the very beginning of this year, I think, when we did number 50. Or was it even the year before? I think it might have been the year before, you know. But anyway, it seems like a while ago now. Um, I haven't done any of these in quite some time, so it's nice to sort of have another one out there, or going to be out there doing its thing.